us would like to be animals at our next birth? I'm sure. Nobody. Animal heads on the walls and ivory showpieces in the halls have shaken me. So I have penned down this poetry at which I am going to share with you. The newspaper that I read yesterday gave me a disturbed mind. It spoke about cruelty to animals, every page, every headline. When I was young, I was taught, animals are our nature's beauty. To protect these voiceless beings is our duty. When I grew up, I could see they are tortured and abused every day for us to be entertained and amused. In the name of conservation and progress, we're punishing them with captivity and distress. Do you want to know how? Let me tell you now. We want them to behave. We want them as our slaves. The scientists injecting chemicals and causing them pain. The helpless dog in the yard, chained in the rain. Puppies burnt, kittens thrown. Tortures you would have never imagined, never known. In the name of religion, entertainment and sport, they're being beheaded, skinned alive and used for transport. Chimps posing for pictures and dolphins confined. Tigers drugged in Bangkok for all their lifetime. Clipping the wings of birds and hear them cry. They feel depressed, die sooner when they can't fly. Whether it's political rallies, movies or offering joy rides, they are showcased, exploited at the cost of their own pride. Flora, fauna and ecological balance is others' responsibility. We all feel that. Today endangered, tomorrow extinct, we all know that. We have substituted coexistence with our selfishness that has made us blind. Today, we're ignorant of being sympathetic and being kind. Raja the hippo of Jumbo Circus was blinded mercilessly, impaired and broken permanently. Courage the dog was assaulted by four. The black buck case happened not long before. Avni the tiger was shot dead point blank. Who cares? All they care about is their vote banks. In Gir and Gujarat, dead were 22 Asiatic tigers. Nobody bothered to check the intensified spreading virus. Loyal puppies and dogs thrown from the terrace, burnt alive for entertainment purpose. Palm oil is the selfish need of today. But to snatch away the orangutan's habitat is actually okay? Yes, these voiceless beings are intuitive. They understand and get the hint. We are slowly killing their souls and their natural instinct. It's okay when we build residentials after clearing away forests. But when they make nests in our homes, we get rid of it the fastest. Are we made of blood and feelings? I really can't understand. Are humanity and justice imaginary words? Why can't we lend a helping hand? When you flaunt your tiger skin carpet, leather pant, crocodile purse or fur jacket, does it show your wallet, status or reputation? Or your emotionless heart and need for validation? Oh, come on, we've all forgotten the birds chirping and the owl's hoot. All because we really want those leopard skin boots? We all get away, no matter what we do. But how do you get away with your consciousness pointing a finger at you? Doesn't your body tremble when you act inhumane? Do you even shudder when they're hit, mutilated or caned? Do you want to be an animal in your next birth? Well, I'm sure we're one right now. Worse than ever, misfit for Mother Earth. It's easy to quit and not do a bit. It's easy to blame the fate and be convinced that it's too late. Let's pass out leaflets, let's educate. Let's go vegetarian, ban leather and demonstrate. Knock on all your neighbors' doors. Create awareness and boycott stores. It's high time we stop the kill. Remember, if we don't act, who will? It will take some effort and some time. But please raise your voice as I have mine. Thank you.